Hi, so I'm gonna talk about what it was like traveling during this pandemic. All of this footage was filmed five days ago. Current travel, like today, I don't know, obviously, but from when I flew Thursday the 19th of March, arriving Friday the 20th of March, so all rules apply for those dates. Things have changed in the last five to six days. Obviously, things are moving super, super fast and border controls are getting more strict. There are a lot more restrictions. Things have changed, but I just wanted to film and show you guys what it was like for me to get home. So I was in Cape Town uh, for two months working and I was there when this whole situation, this whole virus hit, hit hard. But when I was in South Africa, nothing was really serious out there. I don't know if it's a little bit more serious now. If you are from South Africa, please comment down below if it is becoming more of a crisis out there as well and if people are more aware and doing more things to prevent it and if there are restrictions. I received an email yesterday from Virgin Active saying that the gym has finally been closed. My trip got cut short. I was supposed to actually be leaving on the 27th, but um, I cut it short, a week short, because I wanted to get home. Now here's the situation. My home home is usually the UK, but I don't currently have a place there because my lease ended and I went to Cape Town for two months and I thought, why the hell would I look for a place in advance and pay two months of rent for nothing when I'm not gonna be there? Which means I didn't have a home. My boyfriend lives in Germany. That was an option. It was either, do I go to Frankfurt to stay with him? or do I go to Singapore where my dad lives and stay with him? So I was very torn between what to choose and I had to really think about the pros and the cons of each country and the restrictions obviously. Now at the time Europe was announcing that they were considering doing a 30-day ban to anyone entering Europe. Now obviously there was like some exceptions to that but I just wasn't sure if I fall into those categories. I hold a Belgian, Bulgarian and a Serbian citizenship so I thought maybe it could work, it could not work but there was a very high risk of me traveling all the way to Frankfurt and then not being able to enter the country and that would have been horrible which most likely would have resulted to me being transported to Bulgaria where I could have stayed with my mom in a tiny 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 one bedroom apartment for god knows how long. My brain worked its magic and I decided to fly to Singapore so my sister and I had to find new tickets, new flights from Cape Town to Singapore. Thankfully tickets weren't that expensive so that was a plus and we were able to get a refund from our old tickets, a partial refund anyway. You know it wasn't the worst case scenario and at this point money wasn't the biggest thing on my mind, I just wanted to get out of Cape Town. So I'm gonna roll you a clip of the night of when we decided we need to get out of Cape Town. I look so rough because I'm extremely exhausted. We have spent the entire day trying to change our flight because we need to get back to Singapore, which is I guess kind of our home. Our dad lives there. We right now feel like it's the best place to go and I guess quarantine ourselves. Oh, not really quarantine because the country is fine and they're like actually doing pretty well and it contained and handled the situation very, very well. But what happened was we got our flights and we got a flight for Friday and it was the only one available landing Saturday. And then today, Singapore made a new rule that anyone coming after 11 59 p.m. on Friday, Friday, yeah, 20th of March. The next day after that, you have to be two week quarantine. Doesn't matter where you're coming from, you have to stay at home for two weeks and you cannot get out. And they're very intense on tracking that in Singapore. So we've done everything we could for the last how many hours? Like, I don't know, trying to change that flight. And we finally found one and changed it to tomorrow morning. We have to pack and clean this entire Airbnb and get out of here so we can make it to the airport. But the issue is that it said that our flight was not complete and not confirmed. So we don't know what that means that we're stressing about it I don't know what that means But then it shows that we're like booked in for tomorrow But then we won't we can't get our boarding passes So we're very worried that it's not actually worked. I paid a fee and they took the fee out. So Anyway, we're gonna go to the airport tomorrow. We're gonna see what happens, but let's first pack and just I feel like I'm just gonna throw up. I, I'm so stressed. This whole crisis has just stressed us out. Flying back home right, right now is extremely stressful. I hope you don't have to do that. So that night I packed everything, I got ready, I barely slept, and the next day it was time to go to the airport. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. I've just slept two hours and we literally spent most of the night packing and cleaning the Airbnb. And now I'm just having some oats. I'm trying to force myself to eat because I'm not gonna eat on the entire plane ride and I'm not gonna eat at the airport at, for the stopover in Dubai. And I'm also just not gonna eat anywhere. <laughs> right now is the only place I'm eating. I'm gonna show you the view. This is the wonderful morning we have going on here in Comiki in Cape Town, in South Africa. 
so anyway i'm gonna eat and then start heading to the airport um and then we'll see what happens when we're at the airport if everything works out if our flight was able to be changed then we will be flying today if not we will be flying tomorrow like usual but obviously we're praying that we can fly today so let's go and see if luck is with us it was all very confusing because we tried to book and change our flights so many times but because the websites kept crashing all of the booking websites all of the airline websites everything kept crashing every two minutes not even two maybe one minute every minute it just wasn't working and so we really 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 struggled to like change flights even book flights it was such a nightmare and i mean you're throwing your money at these airlines you don't even know if you're gonna get a refund so emirates had a deal where they were selling tickets and until I think 31st of March and if you buy them until then you get a complete refund if you want to cancel it so we were like let's just get the ticket if new border controls are or new measures are put into the system or whatever for Singapore then we're just gonna be able to cancel our ticket and get our original one to Frankfurt so we bought it and all was good like I mentioned Singapore suddenly decided to change its rules so they made a rule about having a two-week quarantine when you enter the country it's a stay home notice so you do have to stay home you don't need to go into like a quarantine hotel or something like that which is nice because you can just stay home but still it was like arrive on Thursday or arrive on Friday past midnight and you have to do this quarantine so we decided we're gonna change our flight so we can get there on Thursday we managed thankfully to change our flight and so we were able to arrive on Friday at 2 40 p.m. right before this new rule hit we finally made it at the airport turns out we can fly today which is great it was so hectic you can't imagine we went through some absolute crap to try and get to where we are are, but we're finally here. We're gonna get on the flight. We're just waiting to pay for some extra baggage. Yay. You would think the airports are super like empty, but honestly, this airport is so full, dude. Like everyone is traveling. It's insane. I, I actually didn't think that it would be as full as it is right now, and it doesn't feel like there is a virus because everyone is literally traveling. The flights were surprisingly full. The airports were full. Everything was so busy and so full. Walking around, I forgot there was a virus. Honestly, the only thing that kept reminding me there was a virus was obviously the masks and the gloves. So all hair, air hostesses, air hostesses, or stewardesses and air hostesses, I can't say that, wore masks and gloves, which was nice because it made you feel a little bit better. Even though I didn't wear masks or gloves because literally we could not find any in South Africa. I didn't feel great, but you know, it is proven that masks don't technically protect you if you're not ill. They just protect the ill from spreading. But anyway, it was just too late. So I just had my hand sanitizer and that's all I was doing and just washing my hands as much as I could. So we are now on the flight. We got on here. All's good, right Alex? Got it. We are flying to Dubai and then from Dubai we will fly into Singapore. We'll see if the second flight will be just as full. I look oof because oh I just spat everywhere. Oh someone's got the old car. All the stewardesses are wearing face masks and gloves, which we managed to buy any because they were completely out of stock in Cape Town. And the logic behind the gloves, like I don't get it, please comment down below if you get it because if you wear gloves and you touch things, like you're still touching things. It's not with your hands, but you're still contaminating everything. And when you take your gloves off, you're gonna touch all the contamination. So I don't actually understand the glove situation. But yeah. Anywho, let's go, go, go. This is like a, just under 10 hours to Dubai from Cape Town. All in all, the flights were very, very full, very, very uncomfortable. Every Singaporean was trying to get home before the deadline of the quarantine. So I can completely understand them. It's their country, it's their home. I'm the one that probably shouldn't be going, but obviously I had to make a choice of where to stay. And since I'm, I wouldn't say homeless, but I have a home obviously, but as in I am not based, based anywhere myself. So it was very tough for me to make a decision whether I go stay with my boyfriend or with my family. And it's a kind of a horrible thing, but in the end of the day, I have to remember that I'm grateful that I actually have somewhere to stay and I have food, a bed, shelter, a family, and everyone is safe and fine. I am very extremely grateful for that. Like I said, all in all, the traveling was full and packed, but it was fine. When we arrived in Singapore, the border control was so smooth. There was um, a camera that when you walk out of the gates, out of your flight, that measured everyone's temperature. And as soon as my sister and I walked out, the machine broke. So we were like, is that a sign that we have it? We were so shook. Everyone was like walking through while they were trying to like fix the machine and no one said like, like stop no one actually checked our temperature physically it was just like a monitor they had and when people were walking past like they were looking at your temperature so I don't know because they missed quite a lot of people there but 
it is what it is. And then we went to border control. They just asked us if we'd been to Germany, Switzerland, France, Italy. I think that's it. Maybe there's another one, but the UK was in there too. In the last 14 days, we said no. They were like, cool. So then we went to the border control and they checked my passport. They stamped it and we're like, bye. It was very smooth. It was very easy. It was literally as if there was no pandemic going on. Very relaxed. Like I said, though, this was five days ago. So I don't know right now what it's like. Probably more intense. People who came from those five to six countries did need to fill out a form. I'm not sure what was on it, obviously, because I didn't get one. There was a way bigger queue for those people who had to wait way longer. Thankfully, I didn't have that issue. So I can't explain what it's like for their situation, but from my perspective, it was so fine, so smooth, so easy, just like a regular travel. Obviously now, a lot of flights are suspended. A lot of people can't fly. The story would be different if I had flown today, but that was my journey, my experience. I was very scared to fly. Not very scared, I was just uncomfortable. It's not a nice feeling. Now it's been six days since I've arrived and I feel okay. I don't need to quarantine myself by law, but I've decided to do it because it just makes me feel better and I don't want to have that risk of potentially spreading the virus. I have gone out to the supermarket and things because I kind of need to. And also I live in a household with three other people who are constantly going out so you know it, it's difficult to contain it I feel fine apart from my throat is sore but that could be anything so I'm trying to not jump to conclusions but like I said I'm staying home as much as I can and trying to just take care of myself and not spread it basically so we'll see what happens but anyway that is my story I hope you are all safe and take care of yourselves let's just pray that this nightmare ends very very soon because it is affecting so much in this world not even just not seeing your family and your friends and not just being bored at home but it is affecting our entire economy and it is not good for a lot of us take care of yourself be safe and till next time bye that was so like not cool okay bye